Lord have mercy, what a glorious axe, ladies and gentlemen. I got to tell you, I love me some 335s, and this is a magnificent specimen because I love Warren Haynes as well. A powerful warrior of the axe, singing fool, just a cool cat in general. And this is a very faithful reproduction of his 1961 ES-335, which is something, a lot of stuff on here is stuff that Memphis, Gibson Memphis hasn't done before. This is a transitional guitar, different neck profile, all kinds of different stuff that make it quite unique indeed. Uh, the 60s cherry finish is just glorious. Gibson has really got this down from when they were doing the 63 50th anniversaries this year. And uh, so this is just spot on. It looks glorious. It's intoxicating. It's like staring into the afterlife. Come. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you don't. Maybe I, maybe I don't know what I'm saying. What? Uh, let's go over what actually goes into the construction of the woods and the body and such. We've got a three-ply maple poplar maple body with a lightweight maple center block. Okay. And period correct Mickey Mouse cutaways. Gibson got those right again. It's glorious. One piece mahogany neck with a bound rosewood fingerboard. And again, the neck profile on this guitar is new. It's not something that's been done before uh, in Gibson, Memphis. Again, recreating as accurately as possible Warren's Guitar of Doom. Uh, mother of Pearl dot inlays. Kapow! Cluson single ring tuners. We've got a nickel ABR bridge and lightweight nickel tailpiece with longer studs and inserts. Now this longer studs and inserts business, something that the Wildwood crew here has been hip to for a long time. This is very key to the way a guitar resonates and sustains and so on and so forth. And it was something that Gibson did back in the day and now are doing again, okay? Also the bridge on this guitar has uh, nickel plated brass saddles, which uh, also separates it from some of the other offerings that Gibson Memphis has. Uh, burst Bucker 1 and 2 Humbucker pickups. Apparently Warren loves these pickups. They sound magnificent. Uh, black top hat knobs over here. The kind of glorious reflectorisms I dig. Reflectorisms, I meant to say. You know, sometimes it's hard to talk. <laughs> Anyways, just an absolutely glorious guitar. There's a uh, it's got a lot of the things I adore about these new 335s that are coming out of Memphis, but some different offerings. And of course, it's got Warren's blessing, so, which is the coolest thing ever because he's just a cool cat in general. So uh, let's give this thing a little more of a guided tour. You just heard the neck pickup, and let's get into both pickups together and see what kind of uh, hijinks we can get up to. Come. <laughs> Okay, folks, I'm going to just put, a, as I put the overdrive on here in this middle position, I'm also going to just go back on the tone control on the bridge pickup just a little bit to get a little bit more of that warranty type of a... <laughs> Sounds good. Let's go to Mr. Bridge Pickup, see what we got going on here. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
pretty diggity doggone good. What a glorious axe. What fun. Warren Haynes, love you. In a, you know, hetero kind of way. Not there's anything wrong with, you know, another approach, but, you know, whatever. Gibson Memphis Warren Haynes, 1961 ES335. Here at Wildwood Guitars, I'm Greg Cock. We'll see you cats in the flippity flop. <laughs>